Hey, shalom, 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 shalom to the hopefully elect of Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopefully elect. Scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth, around your fellow servant, Malachia. All right, coming in with another lesson today. And uh going to be kind of uh, quick, straight to the point. Um, and, you know, this is going to be uh, pertaining to uh, how the righteous, all right, shall be glad and rejoice. And, um, you know, this is a, a good thing that the Lord has uh, opened up our minds to see these things, uh, to open up the book, all right, to open up our minds so we're able to understand and comprehend, all right, what the scripture says, um, because it's a, let me see if I can find it right quick, in um, the book of St. John, I know it's 14, 17, was it 17, if I can, there it is, con. because the world, they can't receive this truth, all right? This is why you see him, you know, because uh, here and you know, it's a spirit on um, because Apostle Ramla been going into uh, the book of Deuteronomy, uh, chapter 28. Um, I got the first part and the second part. I uh, got one more going into the third. And um, it's, you know, it, it's, a, it's, it's more in debt. All right. To kind of open to, you know, for you to actually see your mind and looking at the state of our people and how, you know, like the scriptures. Uh, how, how the scriptures say that <clears throat> I forgot which verse it was it said how they would uh, grope in noonday ah, I can't think of, it's, it's one of the verses but I believe it's like in verse 20 something but it says how they should uh, walk and, and grope in, in noonday meaning going into them being blinded alright them uh, 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 wandering all right. All these different curses was going to come upon our people. All right. But as the ones who have woken up. All right. Out of that stupor, out of that, 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 that slumber of sleep. All right. And the Lord has opened up our eyes. All right. And we have a chance. All right. To come back unto our Heavenly Father. Whereas the rest of our nation, you know, they, 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 they they're, they're in another different type of state of mind. All right, because the curses have just bombarded them, basically bombarded them so much to where, you know, it's like they have no hope. All right, and we see our people, but the Lord had what? He left the remnant. Okay, so the remnant, all right, are are are, are excited. They're happy. They're rejoicing. All right, based off the things of what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has uh, revealed unto them. But let me get this quick preset right quick. This is the book of St. John 14 and verse 17. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. And this is why what the righteous uh, will be glad and they will rejoice because they feel that part of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai within them. Okay. Eating and drinking with them and and, 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 and and supping with them. All right. Feeding them, feeding him knowledge. So the righteous, all right, will always be glad and they're gonna rejoice. All right. They don't have uh the, the righteous uh, uh uh are glad and they rejoice because of what they have the spirit of truth. All right, they have the comfort there to, to, to comfort them. All right. Whereas the rest of the world, the rest of you know, the nation of Israel, or especially here in America, the two thirds of the nation of Israel, they, 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 they don't have that, that joy. All right. But they have to lie to themselves, you know, by the way of trying to go get the bag, you know, try to uh, be, try to make it somewhere in this world or, or try to be idolized on, you know, the different social media platforms. So <clears throat> it shows us that you know, they're trying to find some type of mask, all right, to where they're trying to be as if they are uh, glad and, and happy, all right? Then they're, they truly are not rejoicing, okay? They're rejoicing in 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 in, in uh, some type of camouflage uh, suit, 
All right, because deep down in their spirit, they're not happy. All right, because they don't got the truth. All right, they're living a complete lie. All right, so let's go ahead and jump back to um, get to the lesson. I don't want to drag it out too long. This is the book of Psalms <clears throat> 64. All the way down. Back in verse 9. It says, And all men shall fear and shall declare the work of the Most High, for they shall wisely consider of his doings. The righteous. They're going to consider the doings of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They're going to fear. All right. They're going to declare. All right. The work of the Most High. It says, The righteous shall be glad in the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and shall trust in him. And all the upright in heart shall glory. All right. The righteous shall be glad and rejoice. They're going to always rejoice in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They're going to put their trust in him. They're going to trust on him. They're going to trust on his son. They're going to trust in the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. But that's that uh, that strong tower. Okay. So let's jump to the book. <clears throat> Psalms 32. And I know it's oh, Psalms 32. I think it's any sorrow to the wicked way. That, okay, Khan. We can start at 10 of the points of verse 11. Just the book of Psalms 32, verse 10. Many sorrows shall be of to Salah. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusteth, trusteth in the Lord, mercy shall compass him about. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the Lord to show us mercy, especially in these last days where the world, they don't have uh, uh, any mercy. Okay? And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not going to show any mercy unto them. All right? Especially in these last days. All right? When all these judgments begin to amp up even more than what they already are happening right now. All right? Many sorrows, all right, is getting ready to come to the wicked. All right, the wicked of our people and the wicked of uh, these other different nations, and and at the top being Esau Edom. Verse eleven: Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, ye righteous, and ye and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. Okay, linking back up with Psalm sixty four and ten: Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, the righteous. This is what the scriptures is saying. Be happy that the Lord. Has uh, given this one to you because there's many people out here they can't even receive this. This is coming from the heavens. It's coming down here on the earth. Okay, let's jump to the book of Psalms because <clears throat> most of these scriptures are here in the book of Psalms. So. Psalms chapter five and verse eleven. But let all those that put their trust in Thee rejoice. Let them re ever shout for joy. Because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. All right. So we're supposed to be happy. It's even especially while we're in this truth. Serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Thinking upon him constantly, daily. All right. Each and every second uh, 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 of the day. Always thinking of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. His word, his precepts. All right. Walking with him. All right, walking in the spirit. All right, we're putting our trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and this is why we're able to rejoice. While everybody, it looks like everybody out there having fun and stuff like that, they ain't having fun. They just living a complete lie. All right, they're not truly rejoicing. All right, especially not they're not even rejoicing in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, so this is what gives us that that motivation to always to keep continuing. Okay, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai uh, is is uh, will be glad. I right to see it. Let's get one more, and then we can close out. This is the book of Psalm sixty-eight and verse. Mm. Ooh, ooh, I don't want to go too deep into it. All right, so this is the book of Psalm sixty-eight. I'll start at verse two. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melteth before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of the Most High. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before the Most High. Yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. 
Sing unto the Most High. Sing praises to his name. Extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name, Yahweh, and rejoice before him. Okay? Rejoice before Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? That he's able to uh, open up your eyes to see these things. All right, for you to wake up another day and to, to, to constantly to, to keep repenting, to keep trying to please Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? This is not a, a thing of uh, that woe is me spirit or uh, you being down all the time. You should always be glad because Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai wakes you up every every morning. All right? You got another chance to, 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 to prove and to please Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? Other than what you did the, the day before, the day prior, the, all that ain't going to matter. It's what you do today. All right? And are you pleasing Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai? All right? And we and you know that you're truly pleasing Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? Is when you're truly glad and you're rejoicing. All right? Because you know that you're doing the things of what Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai has commanded of you. All right? So, A, rejoice and be glad. All right? It's only going to be the righteous that's going to do it. All right? So, A, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, Akim and Awatim. I want to give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopefully let. Scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. Around me, a fellow servant, Malachia. Shalom.